Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Simple Mining OS. So let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Simple Mining. So it is a, another mining software that is similar to Hive. I've never used it, so you know I know that everybody's been having a lot of problems with Hive OS lately. Maybe other people are thinking about some other alternatives out there, and I've never used anything other than Hive OS from the start. So I figured, hey, why don't we just try to do it together? This is going to be literally my first time downloading and burning Simple Mining to my SSD right here and trying to get it to work on one of my rigs. So we have our, you know, uh, SSD right here. This is a PNY. It's literally like the cheapest SSD you can get. It's like 20 bucks for 120 gigs. And then you will need a SSD, some kind of adapter. So it just slaps right inside this right here, just like this. And it just sits down in there like that and you plug this side in here into your computer. This way you can burn and erase the image onto the SSD. So you'll need both of these items. I'll leave a link down in the description down below if you guys need those things. Otherwise, let's head over to my computer. Okay guys, so this is my farm and today we're gonna to be using my test rig in order to be able to do this test for simple mining so this is the rig we're going to be doing it is right now uh, it is mining etc it has two four gigabyte um rx well one's an rx 570 one's an rx 580 and this is going to be our test so this is the rig that i'm going to shut down so we're going to come over here and we're going to shut down the rig now we're over here at simplemining.net and this is Simple Mining's homepage and <clears throat> you do have to pay um, for their mining services. Um, you get one rig free for 30 days. So then we'll come over to their pricing and pretty much you're gonna have to pay, right? So I have seven rigs, right? This is what it'll cost me every month. Uh, currently, right now, Hive OS is running me about seventy-seven cents a day uh, times thirty days. So, or <laughs> seventy-seven cents, not seventy-seven dollars <laughs> times thirty is about twenty-three dollars. So, this is nine dollars cheaper. So, that is significant um, in a price reduction. Um, so, you know, let's let's check out some of the stuff in Simple Mining. So we'll go back here. The first thing, you're, though, you're going to have to do is you have to click up Sign Up Free. And I've already signed up. So it'll essentially, you'll have to give them your email address, and then you'll have to activate it. And then you'll get 30 days for free. And then after the 30 days, you're obviously going to have to pay the $2 to keep using their OS. So just, I just want to be upfront with you guys that you will have to pay after 30 days. So the next thing that we have to do though, is we're going to have to go over to the download and install. And similar to HiveOS, we're also going to have to use Belena Etcher, which is a software used to flash the operating system onto our SSDs. So we are over here at Belena Etcher. So this is the program you're going to need. I'll leave a link down in the description down below, as well as I'll leave a link to simplemining.net as well. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is, we're obviously gonna to have to download it for Windows. Over here to our downloads, and we're going to install Belena Etcher. You'll wanna come over here to Simple Mining, and you wanna come over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this, and I don't know if other people are using other uh, operating systems here so let's click these details here so these are all the GPUs that they support here on this particular uh, image 
which we have a 570 and a 580, so that's fine. And it looks like it supports... So it looks like this, this stable version does not have TIs in there. I don't see a 3060 TI, 3070 TI, 3080 TI, and 3090 TI. So I'm not sure about that, but we're gonna use the stable version and then you would just click download. And I've already downloaded it here. So you're gonna to wanna to come over to your Belena Etcher. And then you're gonna click flash from file. You'll wanna choose this. This is the simple mining uh, uh, file here. And then you're gonna to wanna to select your target, which is gonna be our 120 gig SSD. And then we're just gonna click flash. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna do this, yes or no. And you just click yes. And then we're just gonna wait patiently for this thing to get done flashing. Okay guys, so we just got done finished flashing. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, is you're either gonna want, you're gonna to want to come over here in the bottom right hand corner and either click eject, you're gonna to wanna to eject the SSD off your computer and then either turn your uh, SSD adapter off and then back on or plug it in and like unplug it and plug it back in. That way Windows will recognize this. Okay, so we're gonna wanna open this and then we're gonna want to edit the config file. So over here it'll, so this this setup is, is a little similar to Hive. They have their own different way of getting you logged in. From my understanding though, is you're gonna wanna use your email address for whatever you registered with the simple mining. So to continue after this, you would have had to register with simple mining and activated your email. So just please make sure you do that step or it will not work. So let me just do this really quick and then I'll come back and we'll see if I can't pop this in and get my rig to come up in simple mining do the uh you log you put your password in the uh config file you have to come over here to add a rig and then click this allow adding rigs for 12 hours and then your rig should pop up over here after it's done and booted up so it looks like it has some stock overclocks here let's go over here and let's check out some of these config files they have so it looks like it looks like they have LOL, Phoenix, Team Red, T-Rex. You have your, your memory and core voltages, aggressive undervolt on, power stages, target temperatures, fan speeds. Let's look at their advanced tools, more info. So it looks like they have the RX boost for the, uh, 400 series, 500 series, but it does not work on the 5700s or the 5000 series. So on the command line, these are the examples, RX boost. So you'd have to type in these commands in order to be able to use some of these things. So let's go over to the group configs here. And these are our default configs. This is quite different than Hive OS. I'm assuming this is maybe their flight sheets. And you can, oh, these are for group overclocks for if you had a bunch of the same rigs, I guess. We could change the miner. And they do have quite a bit. I wonder where you add the pools. Is it in the miner config that you have to set up manually? So I finally got this rig to come up. And, um, I'll kind of go over what I had to go with you guys off camera because otherwise this video would just be too long, right? When you when you come up to Simple Mining and the rig comes up, you know, I obviously haven't changed the name. Let's just get into the rig configuration, right? So this is what the rig settings will look like. You know, you'll be able to change your name and your overclocks. I had to go with some of these, uh, their example, because the overclocks that I used from iOS were far too aggressive and the rig just wouldn't stay up. So I, I, I'm not doing this for efficiency. I'm not going to do this as a long-term test. I did the, I did this to see if this was a viable option for me as another mining operating system. And there's some things that are, I do like and some things I don't like. So 
let's get into some of the things I don't like. So first off, they have nothing in here that says pool, right? And to me, in their name, this says simple mining, right? There's nothing in here that says pools or anything. It's, but it's so for me, it's confusing because I come from Hive, so I'm used to their flight sheets and things like that, where you can set it up. You know, you set your coin, you set your wallet, you set your pool, and all that other stuff. It's a really like a step by step process to get your worker online. And this is, it, it actually is, takes a little bit of work. So we're gonna go over here to group configuration. This is where you will have your configs for whatever rigs that you're gonna be running on, right? So you come over here to settings and this is where you have, you have to manually enter in the stratums and the pool URLs with the ports and your wallet address. So to me, this isn't simple. Like, why don't you just have a drop down menu, you know, for Flexpool or whoever, right? I, I dislike this option. Like, that's something I really do like about Hive. They just, you can just click down and drop the option. I could see how this could be more desired because maybe there's a new pool that came out and Hive doesn't have it yet. So you can always manually enter in your pools, but for new people, and the name Simple Mining, I, I don't think that this is a very good, I don't like how this is set up in, for me. So to, to change your miners, you would have to come over here and click this drop down arrow. And then it, it does have a drop down menu. So you can choose from all these different miners. You know, they have T-Rex and Team Red, Nano, G Miner, NB Miners. They have all of them. So it's good to see that. And then you can change the name too. Um, I was gonna try to do ETC Zill, which I don't know why I put ETZIL, but they're four gig cards. But every time that you make a change to this, right? Anytime you make a change to this, it will automatically restart the rig, which is fine because that's just like changing and unhooking your flight sheets. Now it is also very important that when you copy this over, you you are going to end up having to do this api listen also in your commands the reason for this is is to be able to get the hash rate to be able to have the hash rate and all the statistics come come back uh over here because this was reading zero for me for the longest time and i couldn't figure out why well in order for that to work I also had to figure out how to get into the console. And something else I don't like is when you're coming over these buttons right here, there isn't a like like any kind of a legend to tell you what all these buttons do or anything like that, right? As well as when you hover over them, they don't just give you like a little tip like, hey, this button is for this. It's simple mining, man. In your name, this should be like, extremely simple to use like there is no there's no hover overs why is there no hover overs like there should be an icon that comes up and tells me what this button does that's just me personally though i don't like that because it's kind of in your name and some of the buttons they don't like this you would think this is rejected shares this is actually restarts so you can see i have 27 restarts because i was obviously i was having issues getting the rig to come online so in order to be able to see your console, you actually need to click this I button here. And now you can actually see inside of the console. And because you can see that this other GPU zero, it has a little bit less hash rate. And the reason for that is, is because I have a monitor hooked up to it because I wanted to verify that the miner was working properly. So there is a, a few differences. The other thing is too, is right here is you cannot enter in command codes here. As far as I know, there is not a remote in from what I can see. Um, I don't know how to do that from here. And I've tried to use these commands and that's not remoting in. So I haven't seen like a way to like, like Hive Shell goes in and you're able to like, you know, log into the rig and give, you know, commands to like, you know, update your kernel or update your NVIDIA drivers or things like that. That's kind of a turnoff for me. I don't like it. 
if if it is here and I don't see it, maybe somebody can leave it down in the comment down below. Like I said, I'm a brand new user to Simple Mining, so some of these, some of the the layout of this, as well as some of their, you know, buttons and everything how it's laid out, I kind of dislike it. It's a little confusing, and um, I think it could be made a lot easier. So the cool thing though was though is when you do add a rig though is you do it with your email and you just save that text file and then you just click this and you allow rigs to be added for you know x amount of time and then the rigs just they just pop on up it is a really easy way for your rigs to come over here and be able to mine it was pretty easy i did so that was simple as well as i have not found any support for octaminers myself the only thing that it allows you to do is able to the the fan speed is this is to the GPU fan speed. So for me, and I'm going all to Octaminers, this particular software doesn't make sense for me. So could this be an option for new people? Um, I'm gonna say yes, it's an option for other people out there. Maybe you're having problems with Hive OS. Is there a learning curve? I'm gonna say Yes, there's very much a learning curve. You're definitely going to have to maybe watch some videos or maybe ask some guys who maybe have ex experience with, you know, simple mining. Am, am I going to use simple mining in the future? Um, probably not. Would I recommend this to other people? Probably not. That's just that's just my opinion. Um, you know, and if you guys use simple mining, man, more power to you. Um, to me though, it's, it's just not for me. I don't like the layout. I don't like the setup of it. Well, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope this was helpful and entertaining as well. Um, it was my first experience with Simple Mining OS. Let me know your guys' experience and let me know what type of mining, um, operating systems you use. Do you use Hive? Do you use Windows? Do you use Rave? Do you use Simple Mining? Um, uh, I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below. All right, guys, this is the Money King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.